right, so we're about six hours into our drive, and it's only 9 a.m. We're not even halfway there. Yeah, we left New York, uh, Long Island, about 3 a.m. on our drive uh, on our next photo trip, which is going to be North Carolina. Uh, last photo trip we did, which was upstate Lake Placid, New York, on the way out of there, we said, we like shooting waterfalls, whereas there are a lot of waterfalls. Right. So we Googled, you know, most waterfalls per square mile, <laughs> and North Carolina we came up, and so we basically stuck a pin on the map and planned a trip. Yeah, so we're heading to, I guess it's about a half hour south of Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in the back there, but we're towing my RV, and uh, we're going to be doing some camping. There it is, out the mirror. So I have a few days of hiking, waterfalls, checking out whatever else is around. Um, I spent a lot of time researching areas, hikes, waterfalls, where we want to be, so hopefully all that paid off. Yes, and when we went up to Lake Placid, it was 29 degrees. We were freezing, if you saw that video. So this time we're going south, where it's going to be, what, about 70 degrees? About 70. Yeah, a little summer extension we're going for here, not the cold. So that's doable. So we just shot uh, a video uh, for YouTube about the new Canon M50 Mark II. So since this is the future, you've probably seen that one already. If you haven't, go back and check it out. Uh, but we're uploading it here via technology from my phone and uh, finding things to do to kill 12 hours. So, wait, is this the start of like a, a trip video? Like, are we going to be checking in with... We're going to be checking in. Okay. So, apparently you're going to be coming along on our trip to North Carolina. And I'm really looking forward to it because the images that are in Eric's book look spectacular. And uh, it looks like a great place to spend a few days with the camera. Yeah, so if you're ever thinking about going to the area in North Carolina, either to take pictures or to just hike and see waterfalls and, you know, the beautiful area, um, you know, this, this video or it may end up turning into a few videos depending on how much uh, we do and how much we get. Uh, might be even, even if you're not interested in photography, it might be a good guide to getting out there and seeing the area. Okay, so uh, we'll catch up with you a little later. The drive continues. <laughs> almost in North Carolina and uh, we had to stop because the colors around here are just absolutely stunning so we found a scenic overlook to get out stretch our legs and take a look at the colors I really hope the colors are like this down in Carolina um, when we get down to the areas where we're gonna shoot waterfalls but just uh, absolutely stunning you'll notice Bill is finally rocking the sling bag messenger style give it a shot this time. You know, I don't, I don't know if it's gonna work out. My shoulder already hurts. I've had it on for a minute. So we'll see. I'm a backpack guy. Morning. Morning one, we're gonna head out. It looks like a wet and dreary day because it's a wet and dreary day. It really is. We spent, uh, I want to take 15 hours to get here yep. from New York to North Carolina. Well, actually, we're in South Carolina, just over the border. Now we're gonna head back up to North Carolina to, uh, you know, find the waterfalls. And at some point in this video, we'll put in Eric's map that he made <laughs> so you can see uh, the detailed planning that went on here. So. Uh, so we're gonna see what happens today. It's actually good that it's shady because we won't have that dappled sunlight coming through the trees. So this is, if the if it stays like this all day, it should make for some really great images. Right, it's a great day to shoot other than being a wet, dreary day. Yeah. So right. we're gonna see if all this planning and everything worked out. Hopefully it did, and see how it goes. All right. So this is Looking Glass Falls, right off the side of the road. This is in uh, Pisgah National Forest. Popular spot, there's a lot of people here, but really nice falls. You can take this walk right here, down to the base of the falls. Pretty nice view.
right, so some of the waterfalls are right off the main road. This one was about a mile and a half along this dirt road. Count, counter assault there. And there's no one else here. So Bill's getting the... Well, you never know, right? I guess got to better to be safe than sorry. It should be a pretty easy hike. So we'll see. I would say this hike was worth it. So this is Log Hollow Falls. Uh, it's an easy half mile hike off of a one and a half mile dirt road. It, there's no one around here, it's really nice. And the falls are beautiful, so well worth it. on top of Blue Ridge Park right now. Yes. So uh, just seeing what there is to see. Scenic overlooks, we're 4,700 feet up. And uh, some nice views up here. Very impressive. So we're gonna drive along here, see what else we can see, but I don't know, if we weren't doing this, if we weren't take, out taking pictures and stuff, we wouldn't see stuff like this. So it's kind of a, yeah, great excuse to get out and do these things. Yep. I'm gonna try a really long exposure here. See if we can blur the clouds a little bit. How long of exposure? I don't know. I mean, what are we talking about? I'm, I'm going to go minutes and we'll see, uh, see how we can, what happens here. May need to stack filters. <laughs> So this is Skinny Dip Falls Trail, and we're hopefully at the bottom of this trail. There'll be uh, another waterfall. It's about a half a mile hike in. Not too difficult, but you know, if you have any kind of mobility issues, this might be one you want to skip, right? Would you say that? Yeah, it's a little rough. Basically. It's a little rough, but uh, we'll see what it's like when we get down to the bottom. Blue Ridge Parkway. This is the Graveyard Fields area. We are here and we're going to here. Second Falls. Not there, not there, not there. <laughs> Should be a nice easy hike of about a third of a mile. Well, maybe not an easy hike. Intermediate. Um, looking forward to it. We just did that half mile hike and uh, we're at 5,000 feet so you feel it, you know, so let's see what happens. All right, so this is Second Falls. There's Bill over there. And I got a little bit closer. Climbed up on some rocks. Let's take a look at the falls. Very nice. The hike wasn't too bad. It was about a third of a mile. The last part was down some really steep steps down over here. Um, it's just nice when you get here. You know, I'm sitting on a rock in the middle of this ravine in a waterfall area. It's just great to be here. Even if I'm not taking pictures, it's great to be here. So, it's Second Falls, it's in the Graveyard Fields area. A nice little hike, but a great place to be. Some good hiking. Yeah, that was good. That was about a third of a mile of steps and uphill slope. Straight up, straight down. Great waterfall at the bottom, yeah. though. We'll put a picture of it right here. Looks good, huh? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're gonna regroup and keep going. 
right now. I only have I only have the MG for maybe one more of these today. We're at about five thousand feet up here yeah. on Blue Ridge Parkway, so I'm sure that affects. It's got to. That's yeah. That's why. That's why we're huffing and puffing. We're obviously in top condition. But. <laughs> This is Mill Shoals Falls, and it's literally right off the side of the road. I mean, we just walked down uh, 30 steps or so, and we're right here at the base of the falls. Very nice one, right off the side of the road. This is right off 215, south of the Blue Ridge Parkway. So this is, I think, Little Bird Falls, just a little bit down river from the last one. Uh, and it's a nice little falls, but look at the size of this rock. I mean, it's enormous. Very cool day so far. Right, so our very last falls of the night, we ended up skipping. We got to the falls, Lemon right. Falls, just north of Rosman. And uh, the directions basically said it was a short scramble to the base of the falls, and it was basically straight down. Well, what we saw was uh, an injury <laughs> straight down. <laughs> so we uh, made an executive decision and bailed on that one. But we have all day tomorrow to yeah, shoot some more. Six o'clock now, just after six. It gets, I mean, sunset's 640, but I think in the mountains it gets dark fast, and we don't want to end up down in a ravine. No. Uh, when These it really roads starts are to get ridiculous. dark. It's a, a big truck and these uh, winding roads don't mix. So we're gonna go get dinner. We might find some waterfalls to shoot at night right in the city of Greenville, South Carolina. So um, if we do, check that out, but it's dinner time. All right, so we're ending our night here in Greenville, South Carolina, which turns out is a pretty nice town. Yeah, uh, and right in the middle of it, they have a bunch of waterfalls that actually are running through the middle of the city here. It's a, it's a really cool park right here. And uh, it seems like they've built up the entire town around this. It's like a focal point. And uh, of course, we have to come here and photograph it at night. It's a waterfall day. I mean, why not finish it here? We just had some uh, mellow mushroom pizza. And uh, we're about to head back to the camper and uh, craft because we're exhausted. It's been a long day. But we're going to do it again tomorrow. Do it all again tomorrow. All right. So we'll say goodnight tonight. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow morning. And we're not even sure where we're going to be, right? No, we'll figure it out. All right. Day two in the morning. Uh, we're just finishing up breakfast and figuring out our plans, mapping out our stuff for the day. We ended up hitting. You seven. should take a second and talk about that book. I mean, check out this book. Let's He's talk about this book. So the book I I googled, you know, before we came here, Waterfalls of North Carolina, and this book by Kevin Adams came up, um, and it's basically Waterfalls of North Carolina, and it's I mean comprehensive to it, it's it's. You got everything. Like literally, make a right at the tree with uh, the two branches coming right. off of it, and then go 25 steps, and right. there'll be a, a obvious path. Like it's really yeah. detailed. Every single waterfall has a description. You know, this way we were able to know before we even bother going there, as far as how accessible it is by car, what what the hike is like, down to the description. You know, it's an easy hike, but you have to climb up some rocks, or it's a very difficult hike, but it's you know really only 100 feet. Um, so this way we were able to actually plan out our days and we knew, you know, because you're driving along, you see a waterfall, like, oh, let's, let's go there, but maybe you can't get to it, maybe it's not accessible, yeah. or also maybe it's not very photogenic. He's got right. photo ratings in here too, and pictures, so we kind of really knew before heading out every day where we, exactly we were. Well, especially for coming to a place that we've never been to before, right. and we're only here for a few days, so uh, it... it maximizes our time. Yeah. Did so that map come with it? The, the map didn't come with it. The map is sold separately, but it's also by uh, Kevin Adams, so they, they kind of everything references what's in the book, um, which is really cool. So we've been driving around with an old paper map, which is kind of fun. Which is actually, you need that because there's really, a, you know, we were in yesterday, we were on the Blue Ridge Parkway, 
and we were in Pisgah Forest in North Carolina, and there was very little cell service. Yeah. At the top, up on the Blue Ridge Parkway, there was, but some of the waterfalls, once you start walking around on these trails, you have no service, so it's not like you can reference something online. So it's good to have actual physical paper, you know, guides with you. So that's something to think about if you're gonna plan a trip. Yeah, so if, if you're gonna be going, coming down this area anywhere in North Carolina to shoot waterfalls or to just hike and see waterfalls, this waterfalls uh, guide by Kevin Adams is really, really great. Yeah. So uh, yeah, we ended up seeing seven yesterday. Yeah, he, yeah. You know, he thought we saw 13 or 14 because <laughs> we were walking so much, but we only saw seven waterfalls. But some of them were like double waterfalls and um, you know, you'd shoot the higher portion of it from another spot, then hike down to shoot the lower portion. So it almost looks like two different waterfalls, right. but you know, it, it, was a, it was a cool day. So now we're gonna go with day two and we have a little wrinkle thrown into our plan here. There's a hurricane that's coming, uh, it's gonna hit the uh, Gulf Coast tomorrow and it's actually gonna come right through where we are on Thursday. So we were planning on leaving Wednesday, Thursday-ish, but we're gonna pack up and get out of here on Wednesday morning. Right. And we're, we're we're gonna be driving just ahead of this hurricane. Right. So I'm not looking forward to towing, you know, a 35-foot trailer, you know, quickly uh, home to beat bad weather. Hopefully we don't get caught up in it, but uh, so we're gonna get out of here early tomorrow. So we're gonna try to make the most of today. Right, so we take from nature the beauty of the waterfalls and environment and nature gives away sometimes. So again, this book, Kevin Adams, North Carolina Waterfalls, and we, you know, we didn't know what to expect. You know, the descriptions beforehand were really detailed, but I didn't know how accurate they were. So Wait, did you get? Did you get that on Amazon? I got it on Amazon. So yeah. then we could put a link to that in the in the yeah. description if It'll you guys want to check it out. But the descriptions turn out to be, you know, exactly what what you come to realize when you actually get to these sites. Yeah. So it was perfect. Okay, so uh, we're heading out. We'll see you on the trail. All right, first stop of the day, and it, it, it is a beautiful blue sky, sunny day, which, which is, is not good. <laughs> so, I mean, if you if you look behind me you, or us, you can see that the, the sunlight is dappled. So we're hoping either the sun the waterfalls in full sunlight or in full shade. We'll take either one. Yeah, anything less than that is unacceptable. But, but this is supposed to be the waterfall though to come to. Eric's book said if you're going to come to one waterfall in North Carolina, this is it. So that's White Waterfalls. Very nice, very easy hike to get here, like less than a quarter of a mile. Uh, but this is it, this is the viewing platform. This is pretty much all you can see unless you go down a lot of steps. Which is where we're going. <laughs> Which is where we're going now. 158, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. Supposedly 154 steps going down. We're not even halfway there. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. 147, I counted 147 steps. I'm not gonna count them again going back up. What do you think? Worth 150 steps? Yeah, definitely. No waterfall views beyond this point. I mean, that's gonna be a hard no. So from a well develop developed <laughs> from a well developed tourist attraction to what basically is just a spot on the side of the road. This is supposedly the trailhead for John's Jump Falls. Um, supposed to be a short but steep descent. So that truck has problems. <laughs> so we'll check it out. So this is John's Jump Falls. There's Bill. Uh, the the book said it was a short but steep descent, uh, difficulty in 8 out of 10, and pretty much that's what it was. A very quick descent down the side of this. But photographically, I gotta say there's really not much going on. There's nothing in the foreground except the shallow sandy bottom. There's some trees blocking it over here, and we're kind of midday, close to midday, so you have that half in, half out of the shadows. So we're gonna make the most of it, uh, but not a great photographic spot, but a great spot. If you want to just, you know, wade around in the river at the base of the falls, this is a really nice and very secluded spot. Well, that last one was a bust. <laughs> so now we're going to go through this gate behind us here, and there's some pretty detailed instructions on how to get to this next fall. So uh, 
it's not that far, but it's kind of really off the beaten track a little bit, so we're going to have to really follow the directions closely, and uh, hopefully we find it. But it looks like a nice one, so try we'll this one. Leave a trail of cookies behind us. Yes. <laughs> This is DEW Falls. Nice little falls. Nice quiet little spot. We joked before about having to leave a trail of cookies behind us. We actually did have to leave a few markers on the trail coming in because you could definitely get lost. It's not a very well-defined trail and there's a few turns coming in. So if you're coming here, keep that in mind. You definitely want to make sure you can backtrack and find your way out correctly. But nice little falls. So we're setting up our shots here. This is DEW Falls, and it's a really nice spot. The sun is jumping in and out behind the clouds. So you've got a really, really bright, hot spot on the falls themselves, and everything else is kind of in dark shadow. So we're just waiting as the sun goes in and out. We got our opportunity to take a shot when the waterfalls are in shade. Uh, it looks much nicer. You have a much more even exposure rather than the water being blown out compared to everything else. So what's for lunch? Huh? What's for lunch? Oh. So my wife made some sort of Indian dish. It's a mix of Chickpeas, um, potatoes, tomatoes, uh, cauliflower, and we added some brown rice in there. And it has, uh, you know, some Indian spices. I'm not even sure. Like a, uh, I don't know. It's got like a chana masala type of taste. Good. Something Good different. Stuff. Definitely yeah. filling. Yeah. Because we have a, a three mile round trip hike coming up now. But Rainbow Falls is supposed to be one of those, like if you only visit one, I know we've probably said that before. If you only visit one in North Carolina, this is the one, so it's probably yeah. worth the trip. Yeah, I'm, you have to bring food because there's nowhere to buy any food once you're into these mountains here. Yeah. Even the visitor center had nothing, not even a bar. Nope. So make sure you pack for however long you're gonna be out. You should probably bring water with us on this yeah. hike. Take a couple of bottles with us. And that's it. This is the glamorous part. Yeah. I'm going out photographing. Make sure you got food. Mm -hmm. This is a visitor center for Gorges State Park. It's a very nice visitor center. Right near here is, here is the trailhead for Rainbow Falls, which uh, we're going to check out. It's about a mile and a half hike, moderate hike, uh, so it's going to eat up a lot of time but it's supposed to be well worth it. And on a day like today, blue sky day like today, we might have a rainbow at Rainbow Falls. So we've been going pretty steeply downhill for probably about a mile, maybe a little more. And everybody coming back up in the other direction is huffing and puffing. So we know we got our work cut out for us later. And now Bill's gonna do the creek crossing. I guess I gotta do it too. I feel very confident that I'm not gonna fall. Not bad at all. <laughs> all right, we made it to Rainbow Falls. It's a good hike, really good hike. Um, it's going to be rough going back because a lot of it is downhill. But uh, beautiful waterfall, really beautiful. There's an observation platform up here at the end of the trail with a fence, and you can get a good view there. But right before you get to that, there's a little landing with another fence that you have a better view without some of the trees and stuff in the way. It's really nice.
about an hour and a half. Well, an hour and 45 minutes to an hour and 50 minutes was our round trip. Yeah, we spent about 20 minutes photographing, so it was a good hour and a half hike, either straight up or straight down. Yeah, it was, kind, it was pretty much parts. almost straight down going with some steep inclines and then coming back. It's a good workout. Yeah. So Rainbow Falls in, what is it, Gorge State Park? Go in the North entrance Carolina. is in Gorge's State Park. Yeah, and uh, so this is definitely a, a cool hike with a great payoff at the end. The waterfall is spectacular. So De uh, definitely this worth is the hike. To go to. But be prepared. Bring water. Bring a snack. Yeah, it's and not horrible. I mean, just take just take your time. Plenty of people on the trail, and it's not like you're you have to you know go through any brush. It's a well marked trail. There's steps in some parts, but it's you know it's a good workout. Mm -hmm. It's very nice. All right, on we go. Yes. Sometimes you got to hike a mile and a half to the falls and a mile and a half back. Sometimes the falls are right at the side of the road. This is Key Falls. It's on a private dirt road on the property of Key Falls Inn. More steps. Many, 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 many. More steps. Heading to Triple Falls, where apparently there are three falls. So, does that count as three separate falls or one falls? I count it as three. Triple Falls, DuPont, what is this called? DuPont State Forest or something like that? Still uh, North Carolina. Uh, big falls though, really nice. Sometimes the big ones are hard to uh, photograph. The smaller ones, sometimes you get right up on them, but this one is, um, you know, we're kind of far back, so we'll have to uh, bring in some long lenses here and see what we can do. So that's Triple Falls. One, two, three. Triple Falls. But you really can't fit all three of them in. I'm trying every combination here and it's just not working. It's a little tight. So uh, the hike here was uphill and the hike back is gonna be downhill. Plus a staircase with about 200 steps. So it's about quarter after five. This might be it for the day, but yeah. And there's a hurricane bearing down on us, so uh, we're gonna go get something to eat, and then this might be it. Throw back a few cold ones tonight by the camper, and you call it a night. We'll let you know, though, but this is yeah, another great day of waterfalling in North Carolina. back home trying to stay ahead of the rain which is doing pretty good it's kind of nice where we are now but when we left this morning it was it, it started raining already so even staying another day would have been a rainy day out shooting yeah a rainy mess and you know we got lucky one of the worst things is packing up an RV in a campground site in the rain so we we got lucky it was raining when we got up it stopped for about an hour and we were able to get everything together get hitched up and get on the road and then it started pouring again so it was uh it was good. Now we're in the car. We've been in the car since 8 a.m. And this is telling us we're gonna get home at 10 p.m. tonight. So it's a long day. But definitely well worth it. A lot of fun shooting the uh, waterfalls. You know, shooting waterfalls is it, actually very easy to do. Once you have the settings, which are really simple, you wanna stop down to F8, 11, 16. You want your shutter speed to be about, you know, maybe five seconds or so. Uh, and you know you might need a neutral density filter in front to, to do that. You and definitely you, will down and, the yeah, day. And your ISO, you want to have your ISO down as low as possible, 100. And it's all very easy settings to use, especially during the daytime. And you really don't need you know a big expensive camera to do it. We were actually talking at the end if we were going to do another long hike, like we did to Rainbow Falls. We were thinking about maybe just taking the M50. We were talking about it in the middle of the hike. You know, we were about you know two and a half miles in. 
sweating, carrying these big camera bags, and we're like, you know what? We could have just as easily have gotten this shot with the M50 and the right. kit lens, and for some reason, we had to bring all of our lenses and cameras, and in hindsight, we would have been a much lighter setup, and we would have been able to hike further and not been so exhausted. Yeah, you're really not sacrificing anything image quality wise. No. At you know, at, at good in good conditions like that, you know, on a fairly nice day. It's during the daytime. You have plenty of light, low ISO, small aperture, and you know, shutter speed is what it is. You know, and, and the M50 is certainly capable of taking good pictures. And you know, some of the pictures that we've been showing you here are you, they're easy to do. They're very easy to get these kinds of shots. And you need a tripod. Once you have that, and you're all set up. You know, That's the, really the right, main thing. The thing is just getting there, is getting to the locations. Uh, some are more fun than others, uh, but it's, you know, it's with waterfalls, it's all different things. Some of them were these huge, expansive waterfalls that were great, but there's really like one place that you can actually yeah, see them like, from. There's re literally one shot that you can get. Right, you know, you're up on like a viewing platform and that's it. Uh, some of the smaller ones, though, you're able to actually get down, climb around on the rocks, explore a little bit more. It's, you know, it's a lot more fun, but you don't have the giant grand, uh, you know, waterfalls to go with it. So, you know, all in all, a lot of fun. You know, the, the, the biggest difference between getting shots like these waterfall shots and not getting these kind of shots is actually the first step, which is just going out and doing it. Well, that's it. Like, you know? like planning a trip like this, um, it really, you know, we could have been... You know, waterfall photography was an excuse to get out and go do something. Right. <laughs> you know, and when when uh, the Disney parks were a little more open and they were doing the fireworks, we would say, okay, let's go to Disney and get some pictures down there, or let's take a trip to Pennsylvania and shoot the farmlands, or into New York City. And these are all just excuses to get out with your camera and you know practice really. Yeah, that's that's the thing. So get your camera. Find a friend who's a photographer or into, into cameras or find someone nearby, a camera club or something. Get a couple people together, go out, or just go out alone. Go out and shoot. The more you're shooting, uh, the better you're going to get. And it's just fun. Get out there and do it. Yep. So, thanks for coming along on this little excursion. We had a lot of fun. And uh, we're going to share some more stuff. We're going to share some more videos about some of these waterfalls that we saw. And we're going to start planning our next trip. Oh, and we were also talking about the name for this channel. What do you guys think about, this is just the last thing we're gonna throw at the end. Um, you know, this channel's really not about Disney. Uh, we do talk about our Disney photography and some of the images we use, but we were trying to think, maybe change the name to a more photography-based right. name. Just some opinions and, you know what? Throw some names out there. Yeah, give us some ideas. Doesn't matter how silly it is, you know, we're, we're up to listen to anything. Yeah. So thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.